incredible. We can't get it here in the UK, which is criminal. But I... No, you can't get it because it's poison. I saw a mutual Heather Shaw stitch this video talking about healthcare. And yeah, they go hand in hand. You can't get our shit in the UK because our shit is poison. We don't have free health care. We have to pay for it. It's private. So our government doesn't give a fuck what we eat or put in our body. He was so close in talking about health care and then just veered off into the banned ingredients equals poison nonsense. I've covered that so many times on my page, but now I want to focus on social determinants of health because we keep seeing these things on TikTok about you know, the UK or Europe, it's so much healthier because of banned ingredients. Um, I've, I've gone into discussions about how there are banned ingredients in the US that are not banned in those countries. That doesn't mean that they are poison. Um, I mean, at the very basic level of understanding how a profitable company makes profit, um, poisoning your consumer would not fit into that equation. But beyond that, what you're claiming here um, when you're making these claims are that health disparities are because of differences in additives in things like Doritos, Mountain Dew, M&Ms. Like that's that's what you're claiming. Um, obviously, it has to do with a lot more nuanced issues than that. And if you really care about those issues and understanding why there are health disparities within the U.S. and between countries, this isn't helpful. Um, this not only is just not how it works, but also these posts always just perpetuate more weight stigma and ableism in the comments as well. So like I said, he was so close with healthcare. Yes, that is going to be a social determinant of health that has a lot to do with health disparities within the US, access to affordable healthcare. Places like the UK having free healthcare, that is going to impact people's overall health um, a lot more than different additives, minor additives in, like I said, Mountain Dew, Doritos, M&Ms, foods like that. Access to a grocery store with fruits and vegetables. Um, I've talked about this before, not only, you know, access geographically, financially, being able to have transportation to get there. These are things that actually are creating health disparities. Education, job opportunities, safe housing, income discrimination. These are all social determinants of health that are affecting health. So people can go on making these videos on TikTok and they can get likes and they can get views, but it's really just deflecting from the actual issues that are creating health disparities within the U.S. and between countries. And unless you're addressing those, you're not helping. But hey, likes and views, yay.